real quick before I get to the show. Uh, I took care of a few more things, talked to a few more NPCs, and Zoe, please get up here. Fuck. Oh, shit! Well. This wasn't supposed to happen. But, no, I talked to one more NPC, and then... Oh, God. Just to get some things settled. But, there we go. Oh. Why, hello there, Joshua. I have returned. You're back. <laughs> so, what shall we talk about? We shall talk about... Uh, I will, you wanted me to find some things for you. Oh, so you <laughs> took that seriously, did you? I, I did. Well, my schedule's open enough. Tell me what you found. Well, uh... Well, I got some news about the new cane knots. Alright. Uh, talk of Nibbly. Uh, talking about Ezra makes you seem... About you makes the new cane seem judgmental and clear. Despise you. Uh... Talk with Nibley showed me how diverse and open-minded the new Canaanites can be. A super mutant librarian. Well, the wasteland seems stranger, I suppose. I mean, yeah. Some interesting facts. They do push me to favor the new Canaanites. Alright, that's all. Uh, Are you there sure? we go. Once I've made my decision about... Yeah, I know. That's all I want to tell you about them. Make your decision. The good seems to outweigh the bad here, Kuri. Part of me hates them, but it's true. Despite their flaws, the New Canaanites are a good, honest, caring people. They were my friends once. That that we are. Like any tribe, they can react intensely when their own are threatened. But if I do something good here, they might see. They might want me back. If it really comes to blows, I will fight to protect the people I once called mine. Well, I want to show you what I learned about the tribes. Oh, the tribals, of course. Yes, very, very, very good folk. Uh, oh, uh, all clouds doesn't want the bloodstones to be as brutal as salt palm wounds. She could be a leader. She's one of the watchers, you say? I guess I said that. But her words, in your opinion, are good enough for me. Interesting. Uh. Bloodstone Mono is us above all. Their attitude is brutal, selfish, and violent. You've talked a bit with Salt Upon Wounds, then. You're right about them. I tried to teach Salt Upon Wounds' grandmother a long time ago. They were less brutal then than now, but it was no picnic. Uh, Bloodstone's monolith of Vialguai corpses seems like proof of brutality to me. Really? I'd known the population was thinning, but this seems like... Too much. Too much. That's certainly not a strike in their face. Sun and Moons live a very simple life. Bright's here. Beautiful simplicity. Seems like a century since Daniel and I taught the tribes. There's so much peace in the world then, it seems. Uh, that's all the evidence I want to show you about them. Are you sure? Once you say you're done, that's it. That's it. You. <laughs> you remind me of the tribes are just living in the best way they know. Their crimes are not calculated, and deserve mercy. Depending on what I decide about the others, I think I should try and preserve the tribes. Locked horns, bloodstones, and sun and moons. Uh, I got some information about the Legion. Uh, as much as I... I agree as much as you that they should I die. I have no fondness for them. So if you have something to say in their defense, say it. But let's not waste words on explaining their sins. Uh, yeah, no, uh, no. <laughs> There's nothing to say about them. Have you reached a conclusion about Zion? I find myself uncertain, Courier. You speak mercifully of many in this valley. Who would you choose to side with? The new Canaanites!
Uh, you'll have trials. Bring peace. I and live here, supposedly. Yeah, go to the new Canaanites. You were right. The new Canaanites are my family. They have been since I was a child, and it's them and the tribe they protect that are in the most danger. We will have to fight the Legion and the Bloodstones to protect them, but if we can, it will be the beginning of an atonement for what I have done. My prayers were in vain. God sent you to me. And didn't it take him long enough? I'm just doing the Lord's work. Praise be Jesus. I'm glad, Joshua. Now, no matter who we sided with, stopping Levius is our main concern. To do that, first, I'll need your help. I'm not in a shape to walk. If you can help me recover at least a little, I can fight. Alright. Second, we need to gain forces. We need to have someone to fight Levius with. Uh. I propose we raise an army. Easy. Anybody can gather a military force. It just takes perseverance. I'm surprised more people don't do it. You'll have to do it for me. I don't know how much you like that kind of politics, but you did well enough with me. What's a few tribes, right? Oh, astutely. I think it's fair to say that you won't be able to convince Levius to leave, so I'd say leave him alone. Unless you're working for him, that is. I'll point out that if you are working for Livius, you are the worst assassin <laughs> I've ever met. But I digress. Try the bloodstones. Salt upon wounds is difficult at best, but you could try. If not, try others. Tribes divide. The sun and moons are most likely to be killed, so ask them. They made a vow, though. No more killing. Maybe you could convince them. Other than them, there are a few to find. Uh, the locked horns may be useless, though well armed. Idiots, in my experience. Apart from that, I don't know. The canyon can support more people than that. That there are others somewhere. So, enough to do? Remember, the more we have, the better chance we have of winning. And that's what we want, right? Uh, see you later. Goodbye. Well then, we have some things to do. The Highlanders! Alright, let's go build an army! Man, I haven't... I haven't built this army since we left the Abbey of the Road. And then there were those folks down in Pittsburgh. Mm-mm. Most people were quite quite mean. But, uh, it was the people next door. Oh, Highlanders! You back? You shut the bathroom door? I did. I know my manners. What do you guys think about the Legion? You feel the crowd of supermunes huddling closer watching you. We know the kind of people they are. Like the master made us once. They let her! They paint over important signs and enslave people. I know, they're litterers! And I think it's very clear that we don't approve of any of those behaviors. Exactly. Uh, would you like to help Joshua Graham fight the Legion? It is a pretty hasty leap from moral distaste to outright war making. But Joshua gave us our faith. That he did. We all believe in Joshua. If he sees the light again, we wish to help him fight against Caesar. Thank, thank, thank you, good Carl. Thank you, good Carl. Islanders! You know, climbing through the sewers is not how I wanted to get here. Uh, Lord. Let's go to the watches. Let's go to the watches. Where, where is, where, where is she? Oh, there she is. Why, hello, all clouds. Hello again, Auslander. How can this watcher be your help? I'm representing the burned man. He's got a message for you. If the burned man has talked to you, you are a powerful spirit walker. That I am. 
But what the spirit says to the tribe, he says to the chief. Why would he wish to speak to me? Because I am Gabriel incarnate. Permis is pleased with your chief. He has chosen you to lay the bloodstones all clouds. Replace salt upon wounds? Yes. No, Auslander. I cannot do that. Salt upon wounds has drunk the blood of other chieftains. She has ruled among us for But if years. you rise, you will become sugar upon kisses. Why would I be chosen? Uh. Oh, wow. My survival skill is actually coming. But has salt upon wounds ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? Do you mean that she does not speak with the land as I know how? I... I think I believe you, stranger. I believe the burned man is a great spirit, and if he wants me to lead my tribe, then I will do it. If I go back to camp, she will kill me. But I will gather the other watchers. When she calls us to fight with the bullmen, we will fight against. Praise be, all clouds. Praise be. As I have turned into a radical man. Uh, locked horn, salt. Talk to Salt Paul Wounds. Let's see what Salt Paul Wounds wants to say. Salty upon her woundies. You have been chosen by Joshua. You come before the chief. I have come before the chief. I want you to fight for the burn man. If it comes to war between Caesar and the burned man, Caesar will win. We will favor the winning side. Leave my sight. Well, shit. Uh, to the sun and bones I go, with the grace of the Lord. I shall lead the flock, in the name of Joshua Graham. For Jesus has chosen him. I know, I know. Jesus has chosen him, all right. Like Jesus has chosen me to lose my fucking mind. Walks with spirits. I have come from the Lord. Arise. Speak to me. We hope you come in peace, visitor. I am Walks with spirits. My wife is the matriarch of this tribe, and I help where I can. I'm here representing the bird man. Now listen, he needs to help. Uh, he needs your help to fight the Legion. You just need to get your credit card and the, and the three digits on the back and the expiration date. Wait, sorry. For, uh, sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong script. You speak with Joshua? I spoke with the burn man! It has been many years. If Joshua wants to fight the Legion, I would love to help, but... We made a covenant, you see. Before Daniel and Joshua, we were murderers. We killed many, and we have repented. We covenanted to never raise a weapon again. Now listen, if you made a covenant 30 years ago, you must have adult children who didn't. That... I never thought of that. But yes, we do. I will ask them if they wish to fight to protect their parents and their tribe. I am glad we can offer some aid to the burned man. And the burned man is happy to provide. Can I get into the vault, by the way? We hope you come in. Speak with... We'll speak with Bratseer. Bratseer! You're not Bratseer. Bratseer! The Lord has chosen you to speak with me and to give me the key to the vault. You do, do you just not sleep? Hello, Curry. I I'm not gonna say that. That's we that's 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 very rude. 
Now let us go. For the Lord has ordained our mission. My name is Joel Olsen, And I want to ask you to support Joshua Graham. <laughs> Mordecai! Where be Rigby? I need you to, to go fight for Joshua Graham. To fight to restore his light, his faith, his holiness. If you think this be a joke, let it be known. I ain't joking. What the fuck? What do you need? You're a teenager? You're in power armor. Your power armor looks like this because I have a I had a mod on and well, I can't fix it. Hello there, newcomer. Mordecai nods. Ezra! I need you to fight for the burn man. Ezra, nice to meet I'm the Bye. Bye, Ezra. That's Thompson's a machine gun. Cause we must protect Joshua. I saved these two bullets for Lavius. How my gun has not exploded from the amount of rounds I have put through it, I I wish I could tell you. Uh, I think I will have to ask the Lord for bullets. And the Lord will provide. He provides everything. He does not judge you. He does not kill you. He is your friend. See, last time I walked over there, that was a mistake. That was a big, big mistake. Zoe Young has not come with me. I feel like I'm walking into murder pass with all these bodies hanging around. Are you the locked horns? The people I am now speaking to? Are you a locked horn? You're a sorrow strap. Are you the locked horn? Everlasting light. Are you a locked horn? Are you a... Why? How the hell do you have missile launchers? Everlasting light. I have come to you. From. From the burned man. Listen. I have come to talk to you about NFTs. Have you ever heard about NFTs? <laughs> well, the burn man, certainly. But, oh god. Give me one second, I'm, I'm so sorry. There we go. Everlasting light. This gruff-looking tribal has the air of immense authority and power. Despite this, he appears to be no more than 20 years old. As he turns to face, you see his rare leather is studded with bottle caps. Thousands of them. By wasteland stairs, he is filthy rich. Your translator makes a simple greeting, and he replies once he understands that you can speak his language. He brightens up into a huge smile. Greetings! I am a powerful spirit sent to rule this land. Are you in charge here? Hesitates for a moment as the chief begins to speak, then after a moment... Oh, well, hey there. Yeah, of course I'm the chief. I'm Everlasting Light. I'm the best looking guy here. What are you doing here then, babe? Uh, what? Excuse from? me? Can I help you with something, or are we going to have to kill you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, don't worry, baby. I won't oh, pl you. Please, do not you call me that. Unless they already have, in which case, I guess you won. Please, sir, do, do not call me that. Uh... I am here on behalf of the burned man. Suddenly, Everlasting's light demeanor changes. At first, you think he has understood. He's cautious, his eyebrows lowered, his armor jangling as he leans in and says, We leave the spirits alone here. My aunt, the salty one, she makes sacrifices. Kills her own people sometimes for spirits. But we came to the Narrows to get out of spirit things. We don't want trouble, especially not with the burned Canaanite. Now listen, 
Joshua isn't a spirit. He's a dying man, and he needs your help. The burned canine wants to save Zion from the bull man, but he needs your help. Now that, that's different. These bull men, they've been killing my bros and my ladies here. I want their chief dead. If the burned Canaanite will come down from the mountain to fight the bull, I want to fight with him. We shall fight these red skirts but listen, together. My tribe won't be so cool like me. They'll want to know Grandma Jeshua is a goodwill spirit. You feel me? I feel you, dog. So I have a favor. You help me, and we fight the red skirts with you. That we will. All right, what's the favor? Good, great. You know the black stuff, right? Tar? Power elixir? Power elixir. See, we're almost out. Nothing but the glass vials left, and that's no good. Oh, you need Sunset Sour Spirilla. I'm drinking way too much. I'm mad. Wait, you, I'm sorry. Nuka Cola? You don't mean Sunset Sour Spirilla? And you just drink net regular Nuka Cola? You don't even drink Nuka Cola Victory? Yeah, whatever you want to call it. I I'm ashamed. Happy drink, fizzle stew. You can't beat that. the real thing. Look, I heard there's some in that old vault that the sun and moons have. You get it from them and bring it back to us. We'll fight. Well, my friend, I'm leaving. Peace. Well, my friend, you misunderstand. We come from God. And God provides. And as I take a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen, I pray to Jesus that he will shower me in your desired beverage. Oh, Jesus Christ, Lord of above lords, I ask that you give this man his 30 bottles, nay, 60 bottles of Nuka-Cola. Please, God, entertain us. Well, my friend... God has provided. He's provided you with as much Nuka Cola as you could ever desire. Oh, what is this? I hear God is showering us with more. With more blessings of Nuka Cola. You're back. So, what's going on? My friend, I have your Coke. Seriously? You only took that? 30. Delicious. You're not bad, you know that? The locked horns don't forget people who help them out. You said you wanted us to help the burned man. So what does he want? He wants you to protect the new Canaanites against the Bloodstones in Legion. You got it. I'll send some men to do it right away. If that's what it takes to keep us fighting out of Zion, we'll do it. I'm gonna leave. The rest of the Nuka Cola with you, Fran. There we go. Enjoy. This is a bottle of 72 worth. Don't go wasting it. Now I gotta give myself. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all this Nuka Cola victory. Mm -mm. Go get your Nuka Cola victory right down on Mick and Ralph's. Mick and Ralph's, everybody. Yeah, in there's it's a shill for this movie. They, they, they funded this movie. My name is uh, Dino Paulson. Okay, weapons of war. Let us go talk to her. Eighteen fourteen, we took a little trip. We fired our guns, and the British kept a coming. Miss Amy Wilkes, the burned man, has called upon you. And I am his messenger. Well, look at you. Still alive and everything, Joshua needs medical help. He suggested you might be able to provide it. It is the Lord's will. Damn. You found him? How is he? What did he say to you? What does he look like? Wait a minute, don't tell me. I have to see it myself. He must... I can't believe he wanted to talk to you. That he didn't kill you. Uh, thanks. But look at me talking. You said he needs help. 
Describe the damage to me. What are his injuries? Uh, he was covered in tar, thrown, thrown off. You know, open skin, thrown off the Grand Canyon. But the major problems are like head trauma, third degree burns, chemical burns. This man can count his lucky stars as usual, it sounds like. Look, from what you've described to me, Joshua will live another year or less. He should be dead already. But we've got a few things going for us. First, I can treat chemical burns. I need a few things, which I'll write down for you. These are plants and local things. Most you can find wandering about, but if you want, there's a little glade those ranger bots protect. If you don't mind getting shot at for being a litterer by homicidal machines, that spot should have a next up for the head trauma and some of the rest. Oh, this is tricky. The sun and moons have a vault, a place they've got locked up. From what I heard, they said a healing spirit lives there. You know what that means? Probably an auto dock. If you can get what's down there, Let's just say it could improve his chances significantly. And last, well, you're going to laugh at me. I, I don't believe in God anymore, I promise. I left behind the new Canaanites a long time ago. But Mordecai, the leader of the new Canaanites, he's a bishop. In their culture, he can lay hands and heal by God's power. Mordecai's got reason to hate Joshua. But if you can convince him, he can do something amazing for our burned friend. So think about it. Whether or not you believe in that hocus pocus, sometimes the fake can have the effect of the real thing. Uh, what about this vault? Yes, one of the earliest of the vaults they built. Very deep, rather involved, but most importantly, they were studying regenerative biology. Even if that research failed, there's sure to be medical equipment we could use for Joshua. You'll have to convince Bright Seer or Walks with Spirits to let you in. They're careful about their secrets, and for good reason. They lost a lot of their people when the Blackfoot tribes became legion. They're still not totally trusting of the new Canaanites. Uh, tell me about, uh, Mordecai. Yes. The new Canaanites believe a person given authority from God can speak on his behalf over the sick and impart God's blessings. I'm not sure if Mordecai would do it, but if Joshua would want it. But if you could convince him, it would bring Joshua some peace. I don't believe in God anymore, but I'm a firm believer in endorphins and chemical states. All right, uh... I'll come back when I made some progress. Okay, Thanks, Mary Jane. Now, what does she want me to grab? Five rock flower, five cave fungus, ten Xander root, and two deter tart. Well, we're gonna go take care of that. Let's go talk to Mordecai. I'm certain he will be very kind and open to giving Joshua a blessing. Hello there, newcomer. I am... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm afraid I, I didn't understand. Or did I? Joshua? Joshua Graham. Yeah, that's right. He needs your blessing, Bishop. This is some kind of joke. There is nothing funny about it. You're saying Joshua Graham is here? In Zion's? Zion. <laughs> he wants my help? Joshua himself said this to you. It's a sick joke, so far gone that I don't even I don't even begin to understand it. No, newcomer, you you have got to say something. Uh, what, what would you like me to say? Amy Wilkes is alive, and she's the one who said you could help. Amy is is alive. Amy alive, survived in Zion, and, and Joshua come back. That this. 
This is a cruel twist of fate, if ever there was one. Then you still don't understand, do you? Joshua is the reason for my son's death. Daniel and Joshua were missionaries together. They taught together. My son, he... He was special. You understand? I mean... That monster incited a war that killed thousands, ended the work of God in Zion's, and left my heart and my son's body crushed under stone. And now he wants me to help him? And sends someone else to do it, no less? Well, he can't exactly oh, move. I did not think that there was a soul black enough for hell until I knew that boy's treachery. But, but you see, it would do him no good. When all is said and done, a blessing is it's, it is done with God's power, yes, but it's enacted by faith. I cannot forgive him, you understand? How could I? God did not forgive Judas, did he? The man responsible for his son's death? But he loves everybody. Joshua wants to change. If you don't help him, he will die before he can. Joshua, you know, I, I remember meeting him. He was... Such a bright boy, so promising and, and, and faithful. And carried my son's body in my arms. There were wounds in him already be before the rocks fell in it, and we couldn't get him out. There's only one who knows what I have felt. Only God in heaven knows. But you, you're, you're right. I, I, I don't know yet. If I can forgive him. But if I can save his life, I uh, give him the chance he never gave me. All right. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Where is he? Where do I need to go? You need must go to Angel's Landing. Oh, I shit, I didn't tell you. Hello there, newcomer. Uh... Okay. I, I guess he just knows where to go. Sun and moon. Well, let us save Joshua Graham. Now, Miss Zoe, should I should I give you a better weapon? Cause I have the Giselle musket. The American fighting freedom. Especially in the Mojave. Miss Brightseer. Are you still... You... She does not sleep. Okay. Hello, Courier. I Uh. I need your help. Uh, I need to get to your tribe's vault. Here. Take the key. That, that, that was easy. Are you surprised I give it so freely? I know you must go there, and so I will not fight you. That, that's right. Beware. The old god lives in the deep there. The shamans used to sleep in the upper chambers, where the old god visited them. Be careful. Uh, okay. Listen, Miss Zoe Young. This is the will of the Lord. We have no idea what could be waiting for us inside, so I'm bringing the hollow point. It is not God's chosen 45, but... Wait, this is a divine mission. What am I doing? What am I saying? Bring out the divine 45. This place is really pumped up. The vault my grandparents came out of was not even close to this. 1814, we took a little trip. I'm going to save Joshua with a 45 on my hip. This 45, Thompson submachine guns, gonna save his life. Fired our guns and the red skirts kept her running. Fired our guns and the red skirts kept her running. Searching this old folk for a cure for Mexico. You fired our guns and the red skirts kept her running. 45. We just made a big loop around. Well, well, well. We 
have made no progress. I don't suck, you suck. Okay. I also feel like we have missed everything. So let us run back. 1914 took a little trip. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little song I sing myself to give myself courage. You you understand. To the deeper vault, we must go. For Joshua! For the bird man! Hello? Is anyone here? Why, hello there! Meet God. Zoe! Ow! Oh no, ah oh, shit. I feel as if the Lord has given me a second chance. I feel as if I accidentally shot my companion in the back of the head. And they turned against me. I will be careful next time. Die! You must be careful, young Padawan. Gotta take care of our rat effects. There we go. Fired our guns and the red screws kept it coming. Now the ghoulies are slinking out all their holes. Come on, you little ghoulies and your little girly girlies. Meet the 45, it'll send you back home. Oh, ghoulie. Ghoulie McCoolies. Time to eat. 45. Yeah. That's a good line. Officer, he couldn't have died. He was shot with a nine. Alright. You know, this vault's in pretty good condition. If they just cleared out some of the radiation and the ghouls, I'm pretty sure they could live here. Hello there! I bring the will of Jesus! And the Graham! Where are you going? Miss Zoe! Yes, good job, you're watching the flank! Hold up! There we go. Let us keep going. We must press on. As they say, unto death we go. You know, I should not be letting my guard down so easily. Who lay all these torches in here? Um. Hello there. Um. <clears throat> hello. As you enter a stink of blood and war... What waste pours into your nose. Looking around, you see a room full of medical machinery and a little girl. Uh, you realize how frightening you must seem covered in guts of feral ghouls in the dust. It's not clear whose blood covers the floor. The girl watches you, still not saying anything. Uh. <laughs> Give me one second. Child of heart. Boo. The girl opens her mouth and you feel a chill run down your spine. Are you going to hurt me? Uh, that's a very adult voice. Absolutely not. I would never hurt you. You could be lying. Most people do in my experience. Even if you did want to hurt me, it wouldn't last very long. I should know. I've tried to end it plenty of times. Ars brevis, vita longa. A uh, long life? I, I read the medical terms in the FSR. 
and you know people were trying to brain damage and whatnot uh did it work how does it work the forced stability regime forces the body to develop certain regeneration centers specifically in major organs and the brain it's kept my vitals intact and keeps me going it wouldn't heal a scar or anything exterior in fact it attempts to stop aging but imagine you've suffered a stroke or a bad fall. Your body has strength, but your mind is weakened. The FSR spikes into your brain. Even if you were brain dead at the bottom of a canyon, the FSR would wake your brain. You could walk a thousand miles. Uh, why would you use that specific example? Uh, I don't know the woman who found me a prospector gifted in a certain arts wished to learn she wanted to replicate. All right. Uh, who are the people who lied and hurt you? The doctors of this vault? Originally, the doctor started it splendidly, supercharging my brain like injecting acid into a tomato. That was my first five years. I turned their brains to rot. Now the only one who hurts me, and the only one who lies, is time. Who keeps telling me I'll die, but I can't. Because you are immortal! Uh, how long have you been alive? A little over 200 years. It's because of the FSR, the Forced Stability Regime. Yes, we just had a... Is there something wrong with your Doctors microphone? I was their chance for immortality, but they couldn't reproduce it. It had to stay living inside me. I was their IV. It was still that way until the other one came. She taught me how to reproduce it, took a vial for herself, and left. She was the only kind one. Uh, did you kill everybody here? Little, uh, girl? Question mark? No, you did. Uh, yeah, technically. I made them into brainless shells. They deserved it. Uh, I need your help. I am done giving help. Those tribals, even they wanted to paint me with their colors and make me fight their wars. Let me tell you this. I am a goddess, like they say. I see you human beings, cockroaches, sick, desperate. Uh, there's a man who needs, uh, Carrie. She lives in Zion. Her brain has been damaged her whole life. I don't, I don't know how I feel. Look, look, my sister, she works with, uh, people like her, little kids. And I'm not sure how I feel if correcting it. You know? I, I don't feel like that's right, but, okay. Then why do you care? Aren't you some mercenary helping a warlord? Or do you really want to help her? Listen, I love helping people. It makes me feel good inside. Nothing has been done. And with a brain like you've described, it will take time. But take this. Give it to this girl and, and say you found it. I would rather she didn't know I exist. Uh, there's a man who needs the medicine here. He suffered too and deserves another chance. You should remember that there are no second chances in nature. Only mutation and adaptation. Why should I help? Uh... You can choose to not give me a cure or not. I won't try to force you. It's up to you. How strange. You come down through a mile of earth, fight the husks that drain me, but then you give me the choice. Take this. Give it to your ailing man. Go in peace. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I said thank you, miss. No one has ever said those words to me before. Goodbye, Wanderer. Leave me to this place. You know you don't have to stay in here forever. Take those 10 millimeter. Alright, Zope, Miss Zoe Young, let us get the fuck out of here. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said... Raise it. Raise it even to the foundation. O oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as 
thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. <laughs>